What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel another video. Today we're going to be doing kind of an homage back to a pour I did a very very long time ago. I think it was one of the first pours I've ever done on my channel. It was a fire and ice pour. The colors we're going to be using today are cadmium red deep hue, fluorescent yellow, phthalo blue, cerulean blue, dioxazine purple, and oxide black. Now all these colors they were mixed three to one pouring medium to paint, but with that, we're just gonna start layering our cups. All right, so how's everybody doing this wonderful day? I hope everybody's doing fantastic. It is a nice, glorious evening here in Detroit. Very happy with the weather. It's not really too cold. It's not really hot either. So it's really nice. The wind isn't kicking like it was, which is nice as well, because the wind chill on that bridge is kind of intense. But yeah, it's going to be another kind of a simple, simple pour. I just want to, you know, take me back to my roots a little bit. So these are some of the things that got into me when I first started pouring and some of the things that I just absolutely fell in love with. So I kind of want to do it again. Our uh, base coat is going to be a black, same black as I've been layering now. So those are our cool colors. I'm going to save all these beautiful paints for later though. All right. And um, we're not going to completely fill this cup, I don't think. So we might not even use that big of a cup. How about we use another little cup? Another three ounce cup. There we go. Now I want the yellow to really pop. So I'm gonna put that in first. I want it to kind of gradient a little bit with the red. So we'll have the red on top of that. A little bit of black for some dark. I like the way black and yellow kind of go together. Sometimes they mix poorly, but we're going to try to be careful with it. Brighten all these darker colors up with a little shot of yellow. Now some black. We're going to do another shot of yellow. Kind of like a bumblebee. Yeah. I'm using a very lot of yellow, but these are two very dark colors. The Cadmium Road Deep Hue and the um, Oxide Black are very, very deep, dark colors. Let me tap this. We did not allow these paints much time to settle after I mixed them. But I do want to have a decent base coat going into this because of the compound that we're using. As of yet, I've never had a problem with it as far as it touching the canvas and causing the paint to react poorly. I just don't want to take a chance at it. All right, so let me kind of spread this little base coat out just a little bit. Pop a couple of them bubbles. Let's get this back into the middle. Now fire and ice. I'm gonna use this spatula even though I could never quite get all the paint off of it. I have faith, you guys. Look at the cells. Can't see them too well, but they're there. All right, at least now we can use the same colors because it's two of the same palette now. All right, let's slide it on in. Oh, look at that. Look at those colors just churning out of there. Oh my goodness. I think we got a good one here, guys. Because look at these colors, you guys. The cells that are already forming in this. It's freaking nuts. Love it. Let me pop some of these bubbles. There's a lot of them, though. 
Alright, I think we got the majority of them. I don't want to scorch the paint. I'm ready for this. This is exciting for me. Ooh. Keep that one from falling towards the middle. Oh, wow. Look at that. That is beautiful. Look at that cup, though. See the inside of that thing? Jeez, gorgeous. All right, let's let some of this magic kind of spill out. Oh, man. Well, I see the problem, you guys. It was my problem I normally have. Too much paint. <laughs> Look at this cup though. What? All right, so we want to kind of try to control this just a little. I'm gonna bring that down, stretch it. I want it to just barely overlap. And then we'll bring it around and do the same. Wow, where that purple and that yellow are kind of touching, it's creating this really cool combination of the color palettes like right in here you're seeing all this crazy like red pink purple lacing gorgeousness guys I did I used a lot of paint so there's, there's no doubt there I'm gonna give this paint something to slide on and again I said I didn't want the paint to contact the canvas but such as life. Right now I don't necessarily have another painting that I want to use this paint for, so. Man, look at this thing. Just the cells alone in this. Like if I could get it to dry just like that, that almost looks like an H or an I, depending on how you're looking at it, like a letter. That is kind of very, very interesting. All right, let me get all my stuff out of the way. So all those paints will get used later. I love those colors. All right, so heat gun first. I'm gonna apply a little bit of heat, see if we can get any, any more of the reaction going. So we have some really cool stuff going on on this canvas right now. I don't necessarily wanna to torch it, because if I do and it starts creating all those crazy cells in one spot, it's going to very much disturb what's going on. And I don't want to do that. All right, so we're just going to give it a gentle, gentle spin. I'm just going to slowly let everything start spreading out just a little. I don't even mind these blue being negative space. Potentially. Whoa, guys. All right, let's see. Give it another light little spin the other direction. Now this definitely is not the exact same as my previous one like this. But I think it is just as beautiful because, I mean, the way the colors are just playing, there's like blue lightning going on there and then these like raging purple clouds and they're just clashing in the middle. Wow. All right, you guys, let me bring you guys down and check this thing out. This thing is phenomenal. I love it. Just the color play in this one. I mean, look at those beautiful yellows and oranges and reds. Then it just ekes out into that blue, and then you got that beautiful striations and that cerulean blue pushing off into that phthalo blue. Got little tiny subtle hints of that didoxazine purple in there. This one, I'm absolutely in love with this one.
If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.